British army would only last two months against Russia, top UK general. The British armed forces are not prepared for a potential confrontation with an adversary such as Russia, the Deputy Chief of the UK Defence Staff, Lieutenant General Robert McGowan, told a Parliamentary Defence Committee the military severely lacks the resources, particularly ammunition, for any such conflict he believes. The amount of money the government spends on ammunition, although significant, still does not meet the threats we face. McGowan stated, adding that the military would have to manage operational risk linked to the lack of resources. When further pressed by MP Marc Francois, a former Minister of State for the Armed Forces, about the chances of holding out against Russia, the general admitted that British forces would hardly last longer than a couple of months in a full-on shooting war. Defence Secretary Grant Shapps claimed that there was no reason to worry since the UK would unlikely have to face Russia alone. It's important to understand that because we are in NATO, we would never be in that situation, he stated. The comments came just a month after an inquiry by the Defence Committee found that the British Armed Forces were increasingly outstretched and thus not ready to face Russia. A year-long review of the UK's defence capabilities released in early February concluded that the government would never achieve warfighting or strategic readiness without major reforms. The document also said that the military is suffering from a recruitment crisis and is short at least 5,000 soldiers. At that time, the committee was also told by former defence chiefs that the armed forces had been hollowed out at least since 2010 and could not hold out against any major adversary in a peer-on-peer -peer conflict. The troops would have exhausted their capabilities after the first couple of months of the engagement. The report said, according to The Telegraph, McGowan insisted that the UK was ready for war, but just not with a nation such as Russia. EU mission in Armenia targeting Russia rather than Azerbaijan. Recently, the Armenian parliament ratified the agreement on the status of the EU mission stationed on the border in Azerbaijan. As is known, the mission was established in January 2023 and in December, the number of mission participants increased from 138 to 209 people, according to Aza News media outlet. Currently, the US joining this process and planning to send its soldiers to Armenia as part of the EU mission actually means that the West is creating its own military base in Armenia. All these processes take place on the borders of Azerbaijan, so many think that this format is directed against Azerbaijan. However, member of the Azerbaijani parliament, Fazil Mustafa, thinks that this mission links with Russia rather than Azerbaijan. Speaking to Aza News on the issue, the Azerbaijani MP noted that Armenia takes these measures because it feels uneasy. He pointed out that Armenia is right in a certain sense from its own point of view. The MP underlined that the issue should be approached on the basis of relations with Russia rather than with Azerbaijan. Yerevan emphasized intensive contact with the West. However, they probably calculated how dangerous and risky these relationships are. Otherwise, the presence of the EU mission or the US mission in the region can create great cataclysms for Armenia, because a country that has built such deep relations with Russia suddenly makes a U-turn and approaches to another power center. The protective capabilities of this power center are also not at a high level. Therefore, this issue is still one of the factors that show that Armenia itself is a bit adventurous. This is a dangerous adventure, and it is difficult to say how Armenia will eliminate its consequences, he said. Fazil Mustafa pointed out that the fear from his society and takes concrete steps towards peace. As I mentioned earlier, the increase in the number of military personnel from the West is a matter related to Russia. For Azerbaijan, Armenia is already a country that maintains a military base of a foreign state in its territory. As is known, except for the military base in Gyumri, the borders of Armenia and the airport are guarded by the military of another country not by Armenia's own military. Now, the arrival of new foreign power means that there will be a problem between the previous power and the newcomers. Therefore, this is more relevant to the relations between Armenia and Russia. Fazil Mustafa opined. The MP pointed out that the creation of the West's military base in Armenia means a military conflict with Russia.
At least five people have been killed and more than 20 injured in a bus crash in a motorway in the eastern German city of Leipzig. The incident took place as the Flix bus that headed from Berlin to Zurich veered to the right on the busy A9 Autobahn before falling onto its side. The bus had 53 passengers and two drivers on board. Rescue helicopters and ambulances have been brought to the scene of the incident, police said. The A9 Autobahn linking Berlin and Munich has been closed in both directions. The exact circumstances of the accident are not yet known. We are of course working closely with the local authorities and the emergency services on site and will do everything in our power to clarify the cause of the accident quickly and completely, Flixbus company said. Local hospitals have been instructed to prepare for a major emergency.